And in this particular video, we're going to go ahead and define what is an isosceles triangle. Now, this is not that difficult, and this kind of falls under the uh, category of triangle classification. So when you're studying uh, triangles, there's different types of triangles, and you need to know uh, the characteristics of each type of triangle. For example, if I uh, drew a little triangle, sketched out a triangle with a little square here in the corner, what does that indicate? Well, this is a right triangle. It's a special type of uh, triangle, and that means here that this is a 90-degree angle, okay? So in geometry, you need to know a lot about specifically right triangle, but uh, right triangles. But again, there's different types of triangles. Let me get, uh, quickly uh, name out a few that you need to know. So obtuse, acute, uh, scaling, equilateral, um, isosceles, and right. And I'm trying to think here, am I missing anything? I don't think I am, but we're going uh, to just focus in on isosceles. This is not that difficult. So if you know what an isosceles triangle is, uh, and if you know a few characteristics about this type of triangle, go ahead and put that into the comment section. I'm going to show you all of this in a second. This is going to be a short little video. Uh, also, if you need math help with the course you're taking, test prep or homeschooling, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to it in the description below. And if this video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so now that we know uh, why we want to know about an isosceles triangle, again, each type of triangle that you have has, uh, some have common characteristics, but some have unique characteristics. But let's go ahead and take a look uh, at the isosceles triangle. And first, let's go ahead and just define what it is. Super, super easy. So an isosceles triangle is a triangle where two of the same sides are the same, two sides are the same length. Okay, now I can say that in a more precise technical way where two sides of the triangle are congruent. Okay, congruent, this little uh, symbol in geometry means that uh, you have the same length or same distance or same um, uh, angle measure, okay, congruency. So now another way I can show that is by using these little lines right here, okay? So you see this little yellow line right there, that yellow line, that's indicating, okay, that this side and this side are the same length, okay? So we have a triangle where two of the sides are congruent or the same length. So we have an isosceles triangle. That's basically it, okay? But let's talk about uh, one of the important characteristics of an, uh, si of an isosceles triangle, uh, and I'm kind of listing them right here. So what do you think I'm saying by this uh, notation right here, these symbols, okay? Well, if we know that these lines indicate that these sides are the same length. What do you think this is saying? Okay. Well, hopefully you're saying, well, are they saying that this is the same angle? Well, you would be absolutely correct. We call these angles the base angle. Okay. So let me go ahead and just kind of erase all this stuff here so we can focus in. So these are the base angles of our isosceles triangle and they are congruent. Okay. So when you have an isosceles triangle, the sides here, two sides are the same length same measure, i.e. congruent, and the base angles are the same or congruent. So that is the isosceles triangle, okay? Nothing more difficult than that. And again, remember that all of the angles of a triangle, uh, irrespective of what type of triangle that you're dealing with, always add up to 180 degrees. All right, so let's just take a look at a simple example. Very, very easy. So let's say we had this triangle right here, okay? And let's say it was just eight, eight, and three. Okay, this, there's a couple different ways you could um, uh, have a problem. And let's say you were uh, asked, classify this type of triangle, okay? Well, let's just remove the seven degrees here for a second, and even the 40 degrees. What if you had a triangle like this, okay? And on your little quiz or test, it said, classify the triangle. Well, you're looking here, you're like, oh, this side and this side are the same measure, they're eight. So um, again, isosceles, all right? Now, let's suppose we kind of got rid of that. And let's say we had 70 degrees or 70 degrees like this, we would have um, the base angles being the same. That also implies that this is an isosceles triangle, okay? so. A lot of you out there that are taking some sort of geometry course or maybe uh, basic geometry and maybe uh, pre-algebra, algebra, algebra one, or whatever math course you might be taking, you're going to have to be on the lookout for, you know, these various type of questions. 
you know, triangle classification is uh, important, okay, because you need to know what you're dealing with, and you can make all different types of uh, problems out of this, right? So as a math teacher, I could be like, uh, I can put like, say, 2x and 2x right there, okay, 2x degrees, 2x degrees, and I would have this little notation, you know, I would say solve for x. And you'd be like, oh my goodness, what does that mean? Well, you know, uh, let's see, what I need to give you more information, well, basically, I'm telling you these are the, uh, the same, these angles are the same. This is isosceles triangle, and then, of course, I can give you another angle measure up here. Let's call that, let's say, 40 degrees, something like that. And then we go, okay, 40 degrees plus 2x plus 2x is equal to 180 degrees. You could solve for x and then actually get these uh, angles right there. So triangle problems are pretty much, you know, universal in terms of how to solve them. Not all of them, but uh, a lot of them. But a lot of it comes down to knowing the specific characteristics of what type of triangle you're, you're dealing with, okay? So in this case, we took a close look at, at the isosceles triangle. But remember, there's other types of triangle, equilateral, right triangle, scaling, acute, and obtuse. So you wanna make sure you know this stuff as well. If you need help with geometry uh, beyond this particular video, check out my uh, geometry course. Uh, again, you can find it at tcmathacademy.com. And if you are at high school level geometry, I do um, a lot of proofs as well. Okay, so if you're in a full-on geometry course, you'll understand what I'm talking about, proofs. A lot of students struggle with that, but I teach you all that in my geometry course. But uh, anyways, hopefully this video was interesting. And if it was, don't forget to like and subscribe. And with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.